cool inventions, where you vote to make or break an inventor's dream. With your host, ACOS the Solutionist. Now, here's ACOS. And welcome. You're tuned into the My Cool Inventions Network right here in St. Petersburg, glorious Florida. I'm ACOS the Solutionist, your host. And my goodness gracious, has it been a whirlwind tour? I've been gone for three weeks. And you know, we went everywhere representing inventors, selling their products, selling thousands and thousands and thousands of units for you guys, the inventors. My goodness gracious, an inventor showdown. I haven't been here since the, the inventor showdown was announced. I got to tell you something. The finalist, oh my gosh, so Yisha, Yisha is fantastic. That guy was with the Super Socket. Remember the Super Socket? That was a five-sided cube there. You stuck in the wall there. And let me tell you something. That guy won it. That guy took it all. He was the not only the finalist, but the winner of Inventor Showdown Season 1. And we're going to talk about him this week all week because his reward for inventi- for winning the Inventor Showdown, listen to this, on J- in July 18th, he's going to be today. Today's top value at Evi, he got an order for, I think, 16,000 units. Can you imagine that, guys? 16,000 units. So if you don't think it's worth going on the Inventor Showdown, you're wrong. Because let me tell you, that guy had sold, I don't, can't even count it now, by the time he gets almost 20,000 units, by the time this round is finished, that's, that's I don't know, a couple hundred thousand dollar order. That's what we're talking about here. And it's going to be ordered over and over and over again all through the Christmas season. And it's not just the finalists. It's not just the finalists who got it, but let me tell you something. The semifinals, the second place guy, they're bringing him back. And you know what? The that, that was the tadpole tape cutter. They're bringing him back with a big order. And remember the cinch needles, the side threading needles? They're bringing her back for the order. Everybody who invented in the finals there is, is being brought back, so it's really exciting. But the biggest excitement of all, and we're going to talk about this all week this week, they've announced season two of Inventors Showdown. Yes, we're looking for 32 inventors right now. 32 inventors to go on national television, over 90 million homes, and it's going to launch in June. It's going to launch in the middle of June, go all summer long, and we're going to go, I think, 32 inventors. That's the original thing now. And so when we get the first date, we'll announce it, but we want your submission. you got to come in. And i got to tell you, hundreds of you have been submitting, and that's fantastic, but we want you to submit. We want you to get a chance to be on Inventor Showdown just by going to mycoolinventions.com. Mycoolinventions.com. Inventions.com. Hit the submit button. Get yourself enrolled in Inventor Showdown. It doesn't cost a dime. It doesn't cost 10 red cents. All you have to do is fill the time, fill out the form there, and you're going to you, you get a chance. We'll bring, bring, bring you on this radio program. We'll screen you here, see how you are uh, doing your pitch. And then, of course, we will choose from here. The buyers at Evine will select the Inventor Showdown uh, qualifiers. And then we're going to start Inventor Showdown round two. And we have some big news because we have been in uh, we negotiation with some big networks. We've been in negotiation with Discovery Network. We've been in negotiation with CNBC and one other network came up. We're now talking about the, of simulcasting the Inventor Showdown, not just on Evine, but on, uh, on national uh, television, the second network, something like Discovery and that. So we're going to, as those negotiations get closer and we announce a, a partner, uh, well, I'll, I'll tell you all about that. Now, every day we have an inventor come on to this program, if you guys have been listening or watching, and what that inventor does comes on the program presents their product, pitches it to you guys, and you guys vote. You guys vote thumbs up or thumbs down. That's what you guys do. And today's no different. We've got a, a great inventor. His name is Stephen Kazaka. I hope I got that right. Stephen Kazaka. And he is invented. Kind of interesting thing because I've got exactly this problem in my own backyard. I've got a table with no umbrella. Right, So I got this hole in the middle of my table that serves no function. Well, he's solved that problem by creating a function for it. He's got called the no umbrella, so no umbrella, flower vase, flower vase or flower vase, depending on what country you live in. And this is this guy's invention. So Stephen, let's, 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 let's welcome Stephen to the program. Stephen, welcome to My Cool Inventions. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So tell everybody, what is a no umbrella flower vase? So the no umbrella flower vase is the perfect way to turn the umbrella hole in your patio table into a beautiful centerpiece. All right. It's uh, it's here. It is right here. You see, it's pretty quick and simple. I have some flowers in it this morning. Okay. But um, when you have the patio table umbrella hole, and a lot of times it's left empty, it's a quick, easy way to turn it into a centerpiece. 
And and uh, how did you come up with this? Like, why did you come up with this? Were you looking at the middle of the uh, the, the table there, the big hole in it, and trying to figure out something better for it? Um, well, a couple things. I actually was working on another product, which was a flower vase when you have an umbrella in the table okay. around it. And a lot of people that I spoke to said, we don't use an umbrella, especially restaurants. A lot of restaurants are under awning or canopy. So I would see 15, 20, 25 tables that all had these glaring umbrella holes at me. And I said, uh, let's create a way to turn that into a centerpiece. So I got one in my hand right here too. So you've got so it's kind of like a tube, right? And its tube's got a sort of a, an overhang there, so it gets caught up when you put the tube down the middle of the hole. So it sort of sits there, and the flower kind of goes below the table, and the flower parts on above the table. So you've got different colors here. I notice you've got white, brown, and black. Any reason for that? Just to match all the different decors. Um it just gives you a little bit of variety and a, and a better way to match your, your current decor. All right. And also, is, is, can you put real flowers in here? Is it always uh, always sort Absolutely. of artificial flowers? Um, I, I, right now, we're showing all artificial flowers, um, but real flowers will, will make it pop even more, for sure. It holds about eight ounces of fresh water. Okay. So um, it gives you a great opportunity. If you're a gardener, you can pull your flowers out of the garden and bring them to the table. And... Um, so fresh flowers is definitely the way I would go with it. So, so Stephen, um, so where are you from? I'm in Sherman, Connecticut. All right, and uh, and what do you do for a living when you're not inventing, uh, you know, no umbrella flower vases? Oh, I um, it's let's say I, I have a gift shop now, and All right. this is not my first invention. So I spend most of my time trying to bring my new products to market. And I work with some other inventors, too, trying to help them out. All right. Do you belong to some sort of invention club? I do. Uh, there's an invention club here in Connecticut that I go to. And um, I also participate in a lot of the shows and different events that are going on. All right. So, okay, Stephen. So here's what we do. Every single day when we have an inventor on, here's what we do. We give you a 60-second window to pitch it. And 60-second window to, to get get us to vote thumbs up instead of thumbs down. It's all up to our listener. It's all up to our viewer because they decide who has the next $100 million product by voting thumbs up and thumbs down. And here's how this works. Basically, what happens here is we what we're looking for is your maximum thumbs up vote. Because if you vote a lot of thumbs up, it gets the attention to the buyers for Inventor Showdown. This is kind of like the screening process for Inventor Showdown. So if you're a friend of Steve or Steve, you got to put it in your social media and get it out there and everybody get ready to vote. So everybody get ready to vote by going to mycoolinventions.com and hit the vote button. And we're going to listen to Steve's 60 second pitch and then we'll vote. So Steve, are you ready to give us your best 60 second presentation? Uh, sure am. Let's, let's do it. Do you got any ideas? I have a great idea. Pitch it to me. Pitch it, pitch it to me. Hey, I got an idea. Well, let's hear it. So, I'd like to introduce you to the Nobrella Flower Vase this morning. As you know, most patio tables in the center of them have an umbrella hole. And a lot of times the umbrella hole is not used, whether you're under an awning or a canopy, or you just like the sunlight, so you don't put a, uh, an umbrella in. And we've created a quick, easy way to turn that umbrella hole into a beautiful centerpiece. It's a tubular vase system called the Nobrella Flower Vase. It drops very easily into the umbrella hole. I happen to have it decorated with a few uh, artificial flowers here. You can certainly change it up a little bit by changing your flowers. So you can imagine you can match just about any decor. It also creates a great opportunity for parties and weddings and events that might be outdoors. It's a quick, easy way to set up all the tables. You can prepare these in advance. Make or break an inventor. Be our shark and vote. Be bold and submit your product. What the heck? You could only make millions. Well, Stephen, like all good things in life, you only had 60 seconds. The time clock cut you off on there. So you gave us your best pitch there. I want everybody to vote. So go to mycoolinventions.com, hit the vote button, and you can vote thumbs up or thumbs down for Steve. Is this a great product? Is it a good invention? We left out a few things. Uh, Steve, I have a couple questions for you, Stephen. What is the price of this product? The price right now is ranging from 7.95 to 9.95 depending on where you're purchasing it. 
because uh, it's kind of new, we're trying to feel that out a little bit. Okay, so it's a ten dollar bill basically. Uh, ten dollar item. Ten dollar bill. And uh, how long have you had it in the marketplace? Uh, about two years now, um, but it was kind of a slow start with it because of some other stuff that was going on. Are, are you so, selling any? This, are, is really are you, our, this is our biggest push right sorry, now. Sorry, like, are you selling any? I, I mean, I mean, you're getting some volume going. We are, and the feedback has been real positive, so that's pretty exciting. You know, you know, I'm gonna, we're going to talk about after the break. We'll talk about a trade show coming up. I think this would be a perfect item for you, and uh, not in the inventor section. I was going to suggest you be in the flowering gardening section for this, uh, where they sell all the uh, tables and chairs and stuff for all the big hardware stores. So we'll talk about that when you get back. So seven ninety nine to ten dollars, the Nobrella flower vase. Okay, and uh, so where are you selling it right now? Right now, I have it on my website, which, which is gifsbycas.com. And we're also utilizing Amazon Okay. on Amazon as well. So, Tony, put that website up there for us. What was the website again for Tony? Giftsbykaz, K-A-Z, dot com. Giftsbykaz, dot com. Sounds like a song. <laughs> That's fantastic. So seven ninety nine. Everybody, go buy this product. To support Stephen and his No Umbrella Flower Vase. And after the break, we're going to talk about marketing opportunities and try to teach you guys how to get your products out there using our expertise. And listen, vote. Everybody, vote. Go to mycoolinventions.com. Hit your vote button. Vote thumbs up or thumbs down. And listen, if you're an inventor, Inventor Showdown Season Two's coming up. The winner of that show in five short weeks has got twenty. 20,000 units ordered already, and he's scheduled all the way to Christmas. So you want to vote. The only thing that can happen, you might sell a whole ton of stuff. So go to mycoolinventions.com, hit the submit button, because who knows, maybe you have the next $100 million idea. Are you kidding me? Stop. Stains are out. Stop the yelling with Stains Are Out. From zero to hero, thank you. Who wants that Banana Man? Saving the world one stain at a time. Banana Man knows the secret in my Stains Are Out you can do at StainsAreOut.com. Do you love great inventions and the inventors behind some of the greatest gadgets? Then you need to check out My Cool Inventions. Broadcasting live from Invention One Studio in St. Petersburg, Florida. You can watch our nationally syndicated radio and television broadcast, My Cool Inventions, with me, ACOS the Solutionist. We help ordinary, everyday Americans realize their dreams. Every day we feature new inventions and their inventors on our show, and you get to vote thumbs up or thumbs down on the invention success. Your support is very important. From the latest tech news with our resident expert, Niall Nickel, to an Invention Academy, there's always something new on My Cool Inventions. You can find us on Roku TV, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, Facebook Live, YouTube Live, and streaming all the time at inventionsandgadgets.com. Welcome back. You're tuned into the My Cool Inventions Network. I see our good buddy Joe Cup is back. He's been uh, Facebooking us. If you're watching us on any of the live streams, feel free to comment. Uh, but do you like the inventions? Uh, say hello. Uh, if you're on the Inventions and Gadgets channel on the Roku Network, uh, good to see you guys too. Now, I've been gone for a couple weeks because what I did is uh, we were doing Inventor Showdown up in Minneapolis, and Minnesota on the Evine Network. At uh, We were broadcasting Sunday mornings. And it was such a great presentation because I got, the, I got to know all the inventors. Inventors personally, all four inventors would come. Usually on Thursday, we did the rehearsals on, on on Friday or Saturday, and then of course the live program Sunday morning. And I got to know them. We had dinner with everybody, and it was just a great, great way. It's, you know, here's this way I get to know you guys on Skype. But when we're sitting there breaking bread, there's nothing better. And let me tell you what happened when all the four inventors get together. All kinds of great things happen because they share different stories. They have different strengths. One's a lawyer. One's had this experience. One that's that experience. Next thing you know, these guys all got better together. That's 
that's why I was asking Stephen about the Inventors Club, because when inventors get together in a unit, good, good things happen. So I did the Inventors Finals. That was the 25th of uh, 25th of March, and then I got onto a plane and I went up to uh, England, and I was representing a whole bunch of inventors there in England and QVC London, and then from QVC London I went down to Australia, where I had four full days of selling, uh, and that's uh, that was awesome, awesome because uh, we we sold all kinds of inventors, TVSN, and then from Australia I flew back to um, that was over the Easter weekend I flew back to Minneapolis uh, because we had the finals of Inventor Showdown that was uh, April eighth, and we did that in the morning in the morning uh, the finals, and then I got on a, I left the studio and hot hot trotted it right to the airport because then we launched a huge today special on the shopping channel that night. So we went that night on Sunday, so we went 24 hours on the shopping channel, sold tens of thousands of units, and then I had uh, I woke up, uh, I had one sleep, and then I got on a plane to Hong Kong, and then we attended the Hong Kong Electronics Fair, which we met all kinds of inventors, we got all kinds of factories, we, we placed a lot of the electronics products to certain factories for our inventors, helping them out, and then we went up to uh, Canton Fair, which was up in Guangzhou, and we spent another four days there, and we met a whole bunch of other factories, a bunch of other inventors. We met them in person. We signed up three infomercial deals, so there would be three more infomercials. We'll talk about infomercials this week also, because one of the things that we provide inventors in infomercials, we partnered up with Evine. We are their infomercial Evine Direct uh, partners, and we've been doing all kinds of infomercials up there. So if you have any interest in that, please feel free to reach out to me at ACOS at MyCoolInventions.com. It's A-K-O-S at MyCoolInventions.com. So we did that canton, got on a plane, came home. I had a a good Sunday afternoon, so I took some time off, went to church in the morning, and then uh, spent some time with the family in the afternoon. And then here we are back here. So that was a three-week junket of all kinds of inventors stuff. So good to see you too, Joe. So Joe was just saying hello there on the thing. Let's get back to Stephen. Uh, Stephen with his Nobrella flower vase. Now listen, Stephen, now you were at the the houseware show, weren't you? Or where did we find you? Did you just submit to your invention, or did we find yeah, you at one of the shows? Through your website. Oh, awesome. Okay. So how about this? Do you, do you think this would be a finalist for Inventor Showdown? Oh, I would hope so. That so, would be great. So here's the challenge I'm going to have with this. Just to, you got to think about this, because this is what the buyer is going to come up with. I actually think it's a really good idea, because I have a hole in my, my I, have a, I have a table with a, a no, no umbrella, and it's a big hole there, and I think it would be really nice to have a centerpiece in there. So one of the problems here is that the, the, the price point is low, okay? So we're trying to always try to get to that $20 price point, that $30 price point. So what suggestions do you have to get us to that $20, $30 price point when you have an $8 item? Well, you might want to bundle it up and offer all three colors together. Um, okay. One thing I find is that I change the colors myself in my table, depending on which flowers I'm using. Okay. So it could come as a package with the three colors. And where else can I use it other than that hole in the middle of my vase? Can I? Can, is it? Can it be used somewhere else? It can. Uh, I got to say that some of the stuff I'm working on, uh, I haven't filed for protection yet. Okay. So it's a little difficult for me to speak to to it, but we are finding some alternative uses for it for sure. Actually, I, I got to tell you, this is very seasonal. Uh, Inventor Showdown Season 2 starts in June, and I want you to get out there and get every one of your friends and everybody vote, because the first, the first thing the buyers do ask us is, how did it go in the thumbs up, thumbs down vote? And uh, so make sure you get his maximum thumbs up vote, and if you're listening or watching, vote, vote, vote. Give this guy your support. You know, we always love the American underdog. We always love these inventors. We always try to help them out. So go to MyCoolInventions.com and vote for Stephen for the Nobrella Flower Vase. Now, Stephen, coming up in a couple weeks on on, uh, May 8th to May 10th is the Hardware Show in Las Vegas. Are you attending that show? I have not made that decision yet, but I have been considering it. So there is a building there. I've been doing it for years, and unfortunately this year I can't attend because uh, I have a huge Today Special uh, in Evine on the 10th, so I'll be there from the 8th, 9th, 10th, uh, and it's a big half a million dollar day, so i got to be there, but uh, my, my team is going down to the hardware show. There is a building that's dedicated to the outdoor uh, uh, chairs, outdoor tables, uh, lawn and garden, you know, anything that has to do with outside your 
home. There's a whole building there, okay? It's huge. It's huge. I mean, I'm, I'm talking about that building alone probably has, I don't know, several hundred booths in there. And all the manufacturers are there. I bet you if you took your flower vase and you walked that show and you went to everybody who sells tables, uh, I bet you get some takers there, right? And all the Ace Hardware guys go there. That's one thing I love about that show. You can write orders because all the Ace Hardware guys go. So what I always recommend is have a, like a six-pack or a 12-pack in a box ready with a, with a special price because many times you can you can sign up those Ace Hardware guys because they love inventions like this. In fact, in fact, I, th- I believe Ace Hardware was the one that just bought the Gromit out, uh, that big uh, innovation company. So they love innovation invention. This is going right down their alley. So that's a good show to walk. I mean, even if you don't have a booth, you get in there as as a, as a as a you know as as a, as an attendee and take a few of these things. And I bet you if you walk that outdoor area, it's huge. That outdoor area is probably the biggest outdoor uh, furniture area that I've ever been to in the world. And I go to a lot of trade shows. So that's a recommendation for you. You might get some uh, takers and people to license this product and help you out uh, at the at, at the hardware show in, in Chicago. I, I tell me tell me about your. Uh, uh, I want to know about your invention club. How many of you guys get together in the invention club there? Um, there's about 20 of us usually right. that show up. It's a pretty good sized group, and they have very good speakers. Uh, it's once a month, and uh, it's a it's a great opportunity, like you say, to be around people who are like minded, same interests. It's it's. It's awesome. I got. I got to tell you something. The last uh, last uh, inventor showdown. I always take the guys to dinner, and I had a lawyer who had the grocery grip. Uh, uh, his name uh, Hopple. This guy, grocery grip guy. He was awesome, and I had Noah Brader with the umbrella who has had his reversible umbrella knocked off like crazy. And right there at the table, they're talking to each other. So so right there at the table, the lawyer picks up the ball and says, "Hey, you know what? I'm going to represent you on a no fee basis and just for a percentage." So that happened, and then and then uh, and then we have. Uh, well, we have Yisha, and Yisha's from the Netherlands, who's got the super socket. That guy's a genius. He's got an entire uh, design team around the world, and all he does is help inventors. Seriously. I mean, I've never seen a more philanthropic guy, and the guy's less than 30 years old. I've never seen that kind of mindset in a young kid. And he had his partner there, Walter, uh, Sir Arthur, not a Walter, Arthur, uh, and the two of them were talking about designing the other guy's inventions, and so all of a sudden, this guy feeds back and helps everybody out. And the fourth inventor, he had another sort of a, a secret behind his house. All four of them, I'm sitting there having dinner, I go, my goodness gracious, I think you guys just sold $10 million just sitting here having dinner. You know, so I love the fact that inventors get together. And by the way, I've noticed that I've never been invited to speak at your inventors club, you know, club there, so maybe one day uh, you, want, you want to send us an invitation, maybe we can help you guys out that way too. We always love supporting the inventors, we really do, and anything we can have to help you out, uh, we'd, love to, we'd love to help you guys out every time. So thank you for being on the program you're awesome 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 and i gotta tell you something thank you and and you're welcome and and uh, i got i'm grateful you submitted i'm grateful you're on and everybody support this guy vote for him go to mycoolinventions.com give him that thumbs up vote he needs in order to be considered for inventor showdown for season two and that's coming up in june i have a big meeting on the phone later on we're going to set the date we're going to choose 32 inventors 32 finals we're going to go head to head and and you know how that works. The one who sells the most goes on. It's tournament style, baby. And then we get a finalist. And the finalist from in season one, my goodness gracious, the next day they gave that guy 15 or 16,000 unit order to come be the special on July 18th. Now, that's pretty rewarding for an inventor. And he didn't pay 10 cents for that. That's what it's all about. And my cool inventions and inventors showdown. Submit your invention. Maybe you have the next $100 million idea. Stains are out. Stop the crying with Stains Are Out. Thanks, I love it. It's incredible. It's amazing. Who was that banana man? Saving the world one stain at a time. Learn the secrets of bananas in my Stains Are Out at stainsareout.com. 